this. It's crazy how fast your life can change. One second, you got everything, your family, your friends, all the things that make you happy. And then the next minute, fucking zombies. But in the midst of every crisis comes opportunity. Albert Einstein said that shit. Right, Tico? You heard that before? My name's Alex. People like to refer to me as Phase Adapt. They also like to refer to me as a demon slayer, dragon slayer. But today, today I'm slaying zombies. So I came to the conclusion that if I put G Fuel right across every entrance into the pad, the zombies can't get by it. I'm not sure why. I'm not a gynecologist, so I wouldn't know. But check it out. I know you guys have seen movies before. Zombies like to come out when the sun's down, so we'll see. Oh, look at him go. So Jarvis is one of the only, literally actually the only guy who, uh, who's still here from, from the original Phase House and everyone else got wiped out. So I'm fortunate though he turned, he's on the other side now, kind of kind of dead. So I've just been keeping him around, you know, like to, to just bring me back down to reality, remind me of like, you know, how things used to be. He's out in the lake house now, just because we have to keep our distance, but he's still like baby brother, Jarvis, like he sounds the same. And I've just been taking care of him, looking out for him. But at any second, I could flip the switch and kill him. This bit here, this is absolute magic. Ah, feel that? I find the most important part for me is a bit of routine. And that means a nice warm cup of tea. This has kind of been the only kind of tea I've been able to find. It's called Nemesis, and I don't know what that herbal concoction is, but it's really quite nice. The company is like a fool. Or, I don't know if it's German or Swedish or something, but what I'm gonna do right now is just make a little cup. The water's nice and hot, look at that. Steam comes up. There it is. It's the way you start your day. It is quite nice. Ooh, it's hot, but really warms the body. Not mine, I'm dead, but it's the idea, it's just the habit, that's what's important, that's what's nice. So I don't really have anything else to say then. Yeah, not much has changed really. I do have a backyard now, which is a bit new. Oh, and I'm a vegetarian, which is a bit weird. Historically, zombies tend to eat people, so, um, it is quite calm though. I do like vegetables. My name? Sure. My name is Tom and I am a zombie. Well, this is where I've been at. Right here, this is my bed. Bedroom, I guess. It's kind of messy. Not a lot to see. We got Tommy over here. He's been no help whatsoever. He's just playing zombies. So this is the armory. Uh, this is where I keep everything that has any value to me. Obviously, you guys know what these are. Got a bunch of G Fuel. Oh my God. Balloons? Uh, I think I got an idea. So you guys know me, obviously, growing up, I didn't have any brothers. I grew up with four sisters. But Jarvis, on the other end, he had a big brava. And Freja got deleted. He's not here anymore, which is quite tragic. And so, that means Jarvis needs a new big brava. And I, let's, let, let me just show him what it's like to have a real big brother, because Frazier was a bitch. I'm glad he's dead. This is so stupid. All right, 
over it. Listen, just follow me. Jarvis! Baby brother! <laughs> oh my god, the kid's got a busted head and he can't play Fortnite. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's just making fun of my accent, which I've gotten a lot, but yeah, Jarvis, I don't know. It's a really weird name. I do have a cousin named Jarvis. He's a bit daft. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ha! <laughs> you like that? You like that? Cheers, Alex. No, Thank you for the rinse, mate. It's my sacred space. I try and keep the energy clear to be more conducive for creativity. I've really been into yoga and breath work and reading and, and writing a bit of poetry, actually. Yeah, no. I could definitely read one, I suppose. Um, what to choose? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. This one, oh, this one's not bad. Um, this is actually a bit weird. I've, uh, I feel like I might get a little, a little emotional. Um, okay. Uh, the rain falls heavy as I stand there. The ground softens beneath my feet. A howling wind blowing through my hair. A feeling felt without compare. To be alive must my heart beat. I remember the warmth of the sun on my skin. A cool summer breeze at the edge of the sea. A fond yet fading, distant memory. Muddied and wet on the ground I lay, it seems I still survive. Oh, how I wish it would all go away. Yet here I walk, another day, living but not alive. I've actually never read that one aloud before. Um, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Uh. Oh, what up, Ricky? Uh. How's it been looking, bro? You hold, man, he's sleeping again? Hey, hold it down, Rick. Uh. I've been trying to train every day, you know, stay tapped in, stay sharp, it's important. I've been practicing different fighting styles. I like to focus on not being seen, you know, quick on my feet. I don't try to carry too much stuff on me. I like to be in stealth mode. Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't think he's ever killed a zombie, if I'm being honest. When, the, when it's dark out, you won't see me. I promise you that. And if you do see me, chances of you looking at me and then walking away, still breathing, are really low. Because so I'm going to probably rip your throat out. He's a bit mental though. I don't know what the powder on the floor is about. I thought maybe he was superstitious, but I think he might just be daft. I think what's helped me survive the most is the training course I set up in the backyard. I've been running that pretty much all the time. And I'm fast. 49 seconds. Let's see what happens when a real zombie is like implemented into his whole little system. Hello. Oh. Are you? No, 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 there's too much going on right now to do this.
Did you bite me? Jarvis! Oh man! Obama! Ow, Jarvis! You bit me! Oh, no, I'm so I'm sorry, mate. Wake up! <sighs> So, that was a bit unexpected. A bit unexpected. To say the least. <sighs> now what? Well, how are you going to get back into your house, mate? What do you mean? What are you, what are you talking about? How are you going to get back inside? Oh my god, the G, the G fuel barrier. Yeah, that. That's going to be an issue, to yeah. say the least. Let me go see if I can solve this problem. Oh, no. Get after it then. Right, well. Cheers. <laughs>